Okay, YouTube, I'm back. So I was uh, just gonna give a little bit of tank update, but first I wanna talk about something uh, that you don't, I don't see a lot of videos on YouTube about, and that's kind of um, how to hopefully ensure that your tank won't overflow, because I'm using an overflow box right now. This is my 55. Excuse my overflow box, it's dirty, and I gotta get that, I'm gonna pull that salt out of there when I'm done with this video. So don't rag on me too bad about the salt creep going up in my my overflow box. I'm not gonna get that algae off there. Probably by a tang. But anyway, I am using an overflow box. And it goes down to my sump. And again, my sump's got some salt creep. I'm gonna wipe that salt up in there. So the overflow box comes down, this flexible tubing goes down into the sump. The water travels along here. Those white lines are actually my uh, reactor carbon and GFO. And there's my return pump. And I have flexible line going back up to my return right there. Okay? And there's some brown algae there. This is really embarrassing. I probably should have cleaned this before I'd done this video. But what are you going to do? So, anyway, my sump is 30 gallons. And by my calculations, I have a about 20 gallons in there. Um, if you look, it's about two thirds of the way full, minus the rock, etc., etc. And my display tanks are 55. I probably have 40 gallons in there. So the first thing I did was I designed my sump so that my return chamber has a limited amount of, of water in it. So if I lose siphon that chamber is going to empty before my tank overflows. Okay. Now, I'm not super worried about losing siphon on my overflow box, but what I do think about, and what I thought about is, on the return, now I'm bouncing all over the place with the camera, I'm sorry guys, I put some what they call siphon brakes in my return. Now if you look closely, I'll move the hose and lift it up, you can see water moving to the right side and the left side of that return line. And what those are, we call those siphon brakes. And what happens is if I lose power to my pump, the water won't siphon back down my return line. And I'm going to lift up this line. Now see those? See that water shooting out the sides there? Those are just small little holes I drained in my return. Right at the water's edge, right at the water level. So what's going to happen is if I lose power to my pump, those, those will break the siphon in my hose line so that the water won't be drawn out of my tank back down into my sump and overflow my sump. Okay. So, I'll give you a little demonstration. I'm going to shut the power off. Let me reach over here. I'm doing this on my cell phone, so sorry guys. I'm going to kill the power to my tank. Yeah, that, but those are the siphon brakes actually working. Those are the air bubbles going down the pipe so that my tank doesn't drain down into my sump. Okay. Light. Okay, there's my sump. And as you can see, the water level is going up because it's still kind of, it's going to go up. It's still draining down my return line through my overflow, okay, as the water level goes down. But as you can see, it's not going down my return line. Okay. Now my water level has gone up a couple inches. Okay. Here's, I don't know if you can see it on the, tone, on the phone, but here's the water level. This is where it usually is, right at this white thing. The water level went up about two inches. Okay. So, that's pretty much how it looks when I shut the power down to my pump. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll turn the power back on to my pump. And if you can see, I'll do the I'll give you a little update on my overflow. This is the eShop's PSK or PF 800 overflow. The tube's dirty too. I've been working so much overtime that uh, I haven't had time to clean this up. But there's no break. 
There's no air bubble in there. The flow is stopped, but it's held it's held the suction really well, okay, because both ends are down inside the water. Okay. Now I'm gonna turn the power back on. Okay. And my pump starts. Now you can see the siphon brakes shooting water out. Okay. The tank's filling up. The overflow box is filling up. And a couple of little air bubbles shooting through there. And into the overflow box the water goes, down to the drain, back down to the sump. Very easy. So as you can see, the, the, the siphon brakes work, the overflow box works. I, I think there's a there's a attitude out there that if you don't have a drilled tank and you're using an overflow box, you're in trouble. I've had this overflow box for over a year now, and with the exception of it getting dirty, it works really well. I haven't lost a siphon, knock on wood. I haven't flooded my house. Water is now back moving across my sump into my return lines and back up into the tank. So, I'll give you guys a little look at the tank. Uh, I do have a couple extra new corals since my last video. I have this orange Fungia plate coral. He's really cool. I have no experience with these guys, but I've been feeding them every few days, and he seems seems happy. When the lights, when the blue lights come on, he glows bright orange. He's really cool. My candy canes are growing like crazy, but they haven't split yet. Hopefully, I'll have four heads pretty soon. And I got that little baby hammer coral frag right there that I'm going to mount onto a rock and permanently put in the tank. My sun coral polyp is hiding right now. They're they're in. They come out when it's feeding time because they smell the food. My green star polyps. And I'm trying to start a little zoanthid rock. I gotta take those off that frag right there and put them on this rock. Yeah, and when they when they get on that rock, hopefully they'll spread. The colors on those are pretty pretty neat. You can see the real bright green ones. And the ones to the left, those are like pink and red and green. Those are really cool, but they've they've kind of moved. I kind of toppled over a little bit on top of the other one, so I gotta fix that. Got my two clowns. Little red, my red fire shrimp. And it's moving day today, actually. I haven't put the new guys in. But I have two back two cardinal fish going in today. Hopefully they uh, they do well with the clowns and everything will be happy. But anyway, before this rated video gets really too long, I'm gonna sign off. Again, please subscribe. The more subscribers I get, the better it'll be for all of us. Hopefully you guys learned something. And remember to keep your water clean and your fish fat. Reef Rookie, out.